dear students in the last video just immediately last the previous video i discussed about the disadvantages of test checking and in this video i'll be discussing about the precautions that auditor should take to eliminate to get rid of these disadvantages you see test checking is very effective very good very helpful you know because you don't have to check all the transactions it saves a lot of time uh, money and etc uh, so test checking is actually good if it is properly used so today's to this topic belongs to the same chapter audit sampling unit 3 uh, paper name is uh, auditing and assurance become fourth semester and today in this video i am going to discuss about the duties of the auditor regarding test checking or precautions that the auditor should take for test checking precautions because you know in when whenever there is virus in anything there is antivirus also isn't it in computer there may be virus and at the same time there are antivirus also similarly auditing test checking in auditing test checking is very important thing very helpful but there are some disadvantages but if you follow certain precautions then you can eliminate such disadvantages so please write the topic auditor's duty regarding test checking auditor's duty regarding test checking or you can write what precautions auditor should take what precautions auditor should take uh, regarding test checking okay let me give you certain points here please write point number one point number one what precaution should be taken by the auditor to make test checking effective number one entry selected for test checking right entry selected for test checking must be representative of all the transactions and the entries on random basis should be selected for checking so in the first point you can write that entries that you have chosen for selection should be representative of the total transactions total transactions so it should be unbiased neutral as i discussed in statistical sampling i discussed in other videos that we apply those techniques and choose the entries in such a way that these are uh, representative of the total means unbiased means when you choose out suppose 30 percent of the transaction of the total transactions that any one transaction has equal chance of being selected so that way the transactions that you select should be representative of the all the transactions you can go by random sampling systematic random sampling like that and choose the transactions then it will be representative number two auditor should select the test for an entries for test check independently auditor should select the entries or transactions for test check independently without regard to the suggestions of the client staff that's a very important point you have some transactions um, or the whole companies before you all the transactions there now a certain particular portion of the transactions you are going to check and which particular portion of the transaction you should check if you decide that thing with the client staff then everything gone don't discuss with the client staff or accountant that what portion of the transactions you are going to check in test checking you do it independently don't take their advice you got the point number three entry selected for test check should be chosen by the auditor cautiously by applying his own intelligence and professional skill see auditor is and having is a professional he's having he has passed charter accountancy course and he has knows knowledge of auditing and accountancy a lot more other subjects is having the knowledge so he should apply his intelligence and professional skill to select the transactions which he wants to go for test check and then he should apply his own knowledge as i discussed about statistical sampling this is knowledge which the auditor should apply then test checking should number four test check should not be adopted in vouching entries in cash book and bank pass book. it's a very very important point number four when the checking of cash book and bank pass book these things are there please do not go for test checking there it's not advisable 
you should go for 100% checking of cash book and passbook all these things don't go for, better don't go for test checking it's a very sensitive area don't go for test checking in this area it's advisable number five the auditor should not adopt test check while checking the entries of first month and last month of the year that's the most important point please remember you have to go for test check you have to select certain portion of the transactions of the whole year you can take two months but please remember you can take three months you can take four months whatever you like but please don't choose for test checking first month and last month of the financial year the mostly the uh, errors and frauds are committed in the first month and last month for several regions so don't check don't take uh, first month check and it tells those things all the entries must be thoroughly checked of first month and last month don't give up you can go for test checking in other areas but first month and last month transactions financial year first transactions of first month and last month of financial year should not be uh, taken as test check it should be completely thoroughly checked because there are a lot of chances of errors and mistakes and manipulations and frauds are likely to be committed in the first month transactions and last month transactions of the financial year mind it's a point it's a technique the auditor should remember this is a precaution auditor should take it number six test check should be so devised that a sizable portion of the work done by each employee is checked that's a very important point see in an organization in a company or in the client's organization several people are working in the organization one person is not working several people several employees are working the auditor should not check work of a particular employee and give up work of another employee no auditor should check an amount of work of each employee best he should check the work of every employee maybe test checking but he should check the entries of every employee more or less according to his formula of sample but he should not leave undetected unchecked the transactions of one or two particular employees because if this becomes a habit of the auditor then all corruptions and manipulations will be done through those employees auditor should at uh, he should check the entries or transactions of work of all the employees okay all the employees a sizable portion of the work done by each employee should be checked this is a precaution number six and number seven auditor should consider his past experience in selecting the nature and size of the sample for checking see how much what portion of the transaction should be checked for test checking 20 percent or 30 percent or 40 percent or what or which area of the transaction which month's transaction should be checked as per test checking that will depend upon the past experience of the auditor past experience of the auditor about the organization because he might have audited in past also so in the past what is his experience he will take that experience into account and then only he will you will select the size of the transactions to be checked as per test checking because if he is if he knows from his past experience his company is having some person who are not um, honest and they do always corrupt and commit frauds then he should be careful about it and if from his past experience he knows that all the employees are honest in the organization and there's no problem in the organization very good having good goodwill reputation in in the organization then accordingly he will choose the size of the samples for checking so these are the precautions that auditor should take for test checking if these precautions are taken if these uh, that statistical samples the um, i told you about the samples the statistical sampling if those things are taken into consideration if it's very scientifically selected samples are there then you can minimize the disadvantages of test checking so this was the topic here this um, precautions that the auditor should take while test checking or the auditor's duty regarding test checking please make the points write the points point by point to listen to my lecture and write and you can learn it when you listen to my lecture at the same time you write it you become expert in it and you can remember it 
simply listening will not help at least first time you write and then you go on listening whenever it's very good even if there is load shedding also you can listen to my lecture you are moving somewhere then you can listen to my lecture isn't it if you have uh, time suppose uh, wherever you are you can listen to my lecture i'm always with you through this video thank you very much lots of blessings and stay blessed and stay safe